People are shaking in their boots. They're so concerned. The Democrat Party in Fresno, California, rallying against my affiliate, KMJ, trying to get conservative hosts thrown off the air. That's what this is about. Silencing conservatives, silencing constitutionalists, silencing people who disagree with the left and the Democrat Party, which includes the media. Now, I was accused yesterday by Chris Matthews of a very, very terrible thing. I want to play what he said. I don't have the cut, Mr. Producer. You know which one it is. I want to play the cut, and then I want to play some other cuts. Go ahead. E. Steven, I have to tell you, that I'll mention a couple names without getting into too many fights. People like Mark Levin, or Michael Savage, for example, who every time you listen to them are furious. Furious at the left. With anger that it just builds and builds in their voice. And by the time they go to commercial, they're just in some rage every night with ugly talk, ugly sounding talk. And it never changes. It never modulates. They must have an audience. I looked at the numbers today. They have big audiences. And I guess that's the question. Why? And is it ever going to stop if it keeps working? See, this is just his effort of a mental midget to try and get even. A jealous, no-talent, non-substantive mental midget. Does he ever watch his own network? The fools and the statements that are made on that network, and they don't even get any ratings. Well, we dug up some Chris Matthews stuff. Here we have September 2008, where he's attacking Sarah Palin. Cut 12, go. This question of her politics. Back in the 90s, uh, she was apparently allied with our colleague... Pat Buchanan. She was one of the Buchanan brigades, the Pitchfork people. She was part of that independence movement, that party. The other guy up there who runs the Alaska Independence Party, and by the word, the way the word used independence is not the way we normally use independence party. It's Alaska wants independence from the United States. He, she was part of a secessionist movement. No, she wasn't, you liar. She was not a secessionist. This is why they demonize, because facts are a terrible thing to liberals. Here's Matthews on Harbaugh in February. Cut 13 about Dick Cheney. Go. 100,000 people are dead now because he got it wrong about nuclear weapons before. Yes. Back in 2001. Right. We have to remember that Dick Cheney was wrong in a way that was lethal. Uh, 100,000 people dead, including 4,000 Americans are dead, and something like 15,000 wounded uh, because he was wrong. There was no nuclear well, weapons yeah. in the hands of Saddam Hussein. Well, yeah. He said there was. So, Dick Cheney responsible for 100,000 deaths. When we come back, a few more. Just to set the record straight. Here's Chris Matthews, MSNBC, October 2009, Newsbusters, cut 14, go. You guys see Live and Let Die, the great Bond film with, with uh, Yafid Koto as the bad guy, Mr. Big. Uh, I, it, in the end, they jammed a big CO2 pellet in his face and he blew up. I have to tell you, Rush Limbaugh is beginning to look more and more like Mr. Big. And at some point, somebody's going to jam a CO2 pellet into his head. And he's going to explode like a giant blimp. That day may come. Uh-huh. That day may come, huh, you you punk? Next cut, quickly, cut 14, go. I mean, uh, 15. One of the great ironies of American politics is Thank the group you. in this country. Your father would the be ashamed the, the gr- of you. Oh, that's not oh, fair. The country, Frank, it is. You better watch it your mouth fair. about okay. that, Frank. The group in this country that most resembles the Taliban, ironically, is the religious right. Thank you, Frank Gaffney. All right, the Taliban. Rush Limbaugh should have a CO2 pellet shoved in his head. On and on. Oh, that's from Chris Matthews. Really? The provocateur. All right, we have a lot more clips of Chris Matthews. We'll just keep him in the vault, pull him out when we need to. Somebody's really enterprising out there. They had to pull all these quotes from all the hosts on MSNBC, and I'll bet they would go on and on and on, and they're nut job guests. No standards there whatsoever. You just have to be a liberal. That's the one standard. 